Michael, it's pretty amazing to those of us who are not meteorologists that the, there's a hurricane moving up the east coast. Meantime, beautiful around here, Ashley. Yeah, and that's because we're on the western side of this storm. It kind of reinforces drier air. We've seen sunny days, maybe a passing shower here and there. This is a live view from our Birmingham Tower Camp from the BJCC up in Summerton. A few puffy fair weather clouds there. And then down in Tuscaloosa, we had some rain off in the distance in Coaling and just along that 2059 corridor, but in the city of Tuscaloosa over the university, sunshine beaming down at this time. We did track a few showers just to the south of Brent, moved through active, headed towards Campbell. That cleared out quickly. There's that little band of rain now south of Tuscaloosa. It will continue to track to the east as it kind of fizzles out, honestly. And then down to our south in Marengo County, heavier rainfall along the Tom Bigby River, but that will stay south of Greensboro. No real severe weather out there today. Maybe a couple of booms of thunder with a few of these afternoon pop up storms, but by sunset, things will quiet down. And then we're looking at those temperatures right now. Hot in the upper 80s from Gadsden down towards Alexander City. A few rain cooled spots though around 80 degrees from Hamilton over towards Fayette. They were in the 70s earlier, but even those temperatures climb back up just a bit with a little bit of sunshine left over. So other than a stray shower earlier this evening, we expect a partly cloudy sky through the evening hours. Temperatures will be on their way into the lower 70s, even some upper 60s by early tomorrow morning. We're talking 65 in Hamilton, 66 in Vernon tomorrow morning with high temperatures rebounding into the upper 80s to low 90s. Some of our hot spots, Northport, Tuscaloosa at 92. Through central Alabama along I-65 from Coleman down to Clinton, mid to upper 60s overnight tonight. Not bad, mostly clear out there. Sunshine fills the sky tomorrow and the heat continues. 92 in Jasper, 91 in Alabaster, same with Pell City. Looking at lows tonight in East Alabama from 65 in Heflin, Lineville at 67 overnight. Sylacauga at 68 and then highs tomorrow, low to mid 90s. Some hot spots look at Piedmont 94. Talladega hits 91 tomorrow. We will start to see some increased humidity, so it'll feel a little muggier, although it is going to be a dry and sunny start to your Wednesday. Notice sunshine there. That cluster of rain to our west stays well to our west, but by late morning, those temperatures will be heating up and then scattered afternoon showers are possible. A lot like today, you noticed on our um, on our radar, not very many spots seeing the wet weather. One thing we will notice is that upward trend in temperatures though as we move into the weekend. Tracking the remnants are, well, it's still east side. Yes, it's a tropical storm, but what remains of this storm? Heavy rainfall now. Albany, New York, all the way up into Montreal, Canada. Hard to believe this storm is still tracking north. For us though, it's heat, it's sunshine, mid-90s by the weekend. And that's a look at your storm team seven-day forecast.